It was tears and lamentations at Mpondwe border when hundreds of traders witnessed their fish stock being burnt after it was called for being immature. And now you are spraying like when you are very far. According to Alex Tumheise, the in charge of Chikorongo Fisheries Protection Unit checkpoint, the action was reached after court found that the fish which was impounded was not suitable for, for human consumption. The judgment was they were four suspects, uh, all were charged to pay one million fine each. He advised the public to desist from trading in immature fish if they are to avoid the penalties of the New Fisheries Act 2022. They were four suspects, uh, all were charged to pay one million fine each, and the owner of the vehicle, Mr. Casero Bahamut, was fined two million for his truck for carrying immature fish, uh, and the last sentence was to ban the resident district commissioner kasese lieutenant joy walsimbi attributed the vice to the leaders who have failed to enforce the presidential directive of conserving the lakes for the coming generations ene chizibu chino chiriku benyini abavubi kiva ku mwalo wenyini kuanga binyanja tebijja mu nyanja byoka ne byeteka wabweru ne uba bikalidirira he said that the move to crack down on fish traders who deal in immature fish is ongoing until they follow the new fish act. The fish traders pleased to have their fish returned to them fell on deaf ears of the fisheries protection unit officers. The impounding and burning of over five tons of immature fish came after President Yoweri Museveni promoted Major Masitu Kahira to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and appointed her as a new commander of the Uganda People's Defense Force Fisheries Protection Unit following complaints over violation of human rights of fishermen during operations to stop illegal fishing. I'm Benon Mukwaya with Moses Muthabali. UBC News.